thank you uh, for coming here this morning. Um, if any of you imagine, anybody in the country imagines what happens when your bank account, your ATM card, your entire financial identity is erased, right? You can imagine if, if it is done to a family, the family will starve to death. If it is done to a business, the business will be crippled. Right? This is what has been done to the Congress party one month back. All our bank accounts have been frozen. We can do no campaign work. We cannot support our workers. We cannot support our candidates. Our leaders cannot fly from one part of the country to the other. Forget fly. They can't take a railway uh, train. And this has been done literally two months before the election campaign. Why has it been done? One notice comes from the 90s. Another notice comes uh, from six, seven years ago. Quantum amount, 14 lakh rupees. And punishment, our entire financial identity. Right? What's interesting to me is that there are institutions in this country that are supposed to protect, protect the democratic framework. There are the courts in the country, there is the election commission in the country. Right? And nothing is happening. The election commission has not even said, wait a minute, you have frozen the bank account of the largest uh, of one of the biggest political parties, largest opposition in the country. And already our ability to fight the election has been damaged. We've already lost a month. 